Hey guys, uh, this is a cleanup from a uh, creek walk the other day. Um, I also have a few other items I found a couple weeks ago that are in here that I thought I would show you too. So, um, see if I can get started and not take up too much time. But um, this uh, is a really big, what I call an icicle pestle. They're um, shaped like an icicle. I've got several like this. Um, Really don't know what period they come from. They're a little bit different from, uh, well, a good bit different from some of the other pestles that uh, that I find. But um, anyway, um, it's a pretty nice example there. Um, one here that's kind of similar. Um, I think that's a game ball, um, some kind. I think this is a game piece too. That's a really soft granite. Um, can't. Can't imagine that being used for any kind of a tool. Um, I think these are atlatl spurs. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's what they are. Got a grinding stone here, or polishing stone, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, really heavily oiled. A lot of oil on it. Real smooth surface there. Uh, originally, when I pulled this, I thought it was a... Um, a debarker a debrader but as i cleaned it up and looked at it more it is a big fire stone and i mean this tool was used a lot um see all how black it is and pitted in there that's where they had the upper part of the stick to start the fire with but um this tool was used a lot and for a long time um but um you can see where it's all been chipped and pecked out I think it kind of would have been held kind of like like this real dark almost like it's heat treated right in there when you look at it but um anyway that was a tool that that was used quite a bit um i think that is a debrider a debarker there they run their shafts in through there uh kind of a what i would consider a portable mortar uh, it's all cupped out in here. Something that they could carry with them if they were uh, kind of going on a hunt or something. Um, this gets to my effigies. Um, so a duck head, I guess, or a bird head effigy. And this one here would be uh, probably a sparrow or a wren, but this is really uh, kind of a unique piece here. Very fragile. It's very soft granite. Um, there's the wing. Kind of got some color of brown in it, like a wren would have. And the eye actually is drilled out about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch. But um, found that about three inches in in the in the sand. And I think if that was on the surface, I don't think that would have lasted very long. But it's pretty soft granite. But I think that's a pretty rare piece. I'm not sure about this. Kind of a sickle looking thing. Um, maybe some kind of a scraper. Um, kind of gets up here to hammer stones. It's a um, small one, but uh, made out of quartz. Got a quartz vein running through it. It's kind of squared off around the, the sides, but... Got a little indented on in the middle on both sides. There's one there that's really been worked quite a bit. It's kind of grooved out in there actually. Another one here, bigger one. It's kind of the hammer surface there. It's really worn right in there. It's got a dimple here, a dimple back in here. And this, I think, is actually a mortar um, stone. I think it's just too big to be a hammer stone. It um, probably weighs five, six pounds. And they probably just uh, used it in the mortar and just ground grains and nuts in it. But that's a, that's a big piece. Got a few holes in it right there. I think that's just where some minerals have leached out. I don't think that was used as a fire stone. Um, get to uh, Warren axes here. This is a 
one I found kind of a dog bone kind of looking axe um, anyway granite <clears throat> here's another one that's larger here this um, you can see where this one's been hafted right in here um, this is a like I say a bigger one of a light granite that's a nice piece though and these are some discs I found here they um, they're just cupped out I don't really know what they used them for exactly uh, maybe for grains or something or nuts but uh, or maybe for something like ochre or paint um, but they're all cupped out in the middle these got a, these two here have got a good bit of oil on them kind of see where that's all been flaked out and chipped out in there or cupped out in there not real sure what they used them for exactly and this gets to uh i don't know category uh thinking maybe it's a snake effigy maybe <laughs> i have no idea um it kind of looks like the head there it's got a lot of oil on it um anyway um i really don't know long i guess it could have been a tool of some kind um but anyway it kind of kind of looks like a like a snake but anybody have any ideas let me know it's kind of been worked on the bottom here it's been all chipped out here on the bottom notched out but um anyway i'm, I'm thinking snake effigy black snake or something like that Well, anyway, I appreciate you guys tuning in and checking it out, and uh, I'll get back with you with some more stuff later on. Appreciate it.